I'm Mimi and today I'm taking myself on a little excursion into town to do my work at the library and I thought you might like to join me. I usually work from home and I love my studio but sometimes it's nice to have a change of scenery and work from a different environment. Plus I have a couple of errands to do in town anyway so I'm gonna make a day of it. I live in northwest Tasmania and there's not too much here compared to a big city but there is a cute little library so I'm going to stop in there first and get some work done on my laptop for a couple of hours before lunch. I love being able to work remotely and take my laptop with me anywhere I like and it's always been a really big priority in building my art business to be able to be flexible, portable and just so that I can work from anywhere. So once I've found myself a quiet and cozy spot I can get my laptop set up and I bring my mouse and keyboard with me because it means I can have my screen further away from me and also I need them if I turn my laptop into tablet mode for drawing. So first I'll just check in on YouTube and respond to some comments because it's always really nice hearing your stories and being able to connect with you all. I definitely don't get to respond to all of the comments but I do like to spend a little while once or twice a week responding to as many as I can. I find libraries so peaceful and there's something comforting about being surrounded by books and quiet people who are just studying or reading. I can just put in some music and get in my own flow knowing that there isn't anywhere else that I need to be. I love working from home and not needing to commute anywhere but there are also lots of easy distractions at home because I could sit and watch TV or go and find a snack in the fridge at any time but when I'm on my laptop at the library I'm really only here to get things done and the sooner I do then the sooner I can go outside for lunch so I find it a lot easier to focus in an environment like this sometimes. Now I need to do some drawing so I've turned my computer into tablet mode. I have a Microsoft Surface Book 3 which is a 2-in-1 laptop so I can either use it as a normal laptop or as a tablet. And when it's set up like this I use a wireless keyboard and mouse with it so I can still use all the keyboard shortcuts. I would usually have a stand to put my laptop on to raise it a little bit but I didn't bring that with me so I just use my laptop case instead just to prop it up at an angle. I'm working on a step-by-step -step drawing guide for my Patreon about how to draw some different seashells and decorate them with cute patterns. So first I need to figure out how to draw the final shapes and I use some reference photos that I found online of different shells to help me come up with four simple shell outlines. And then I spend quite a while breaking down those outlines into several steps that people can easily follow to get to the final outcome and this part definitely takes the longest in my step-by-step -step guide like process because I have to really think about the steps and try not to get confused with all of my layers. So once I've got those steps ready I export them all as individual PNGs and then I'm ready to have a little break and go and get some lunch. I have a couple of errands to run in town first so I pop over to the bookshop because I want to get a small-ish sketchbook. At the moment I have a large A4 size one and a teeny tiny mini one but I want one that's sort of in between that I can easily put in a handbag and I also really want it to be where the pages lie pretty much flat when it's open so I found one at the bookshop because they have art supplies in there. Obviously I have to have a little browse while I'm at the bookshop as well because there are just so many beautiful books to have a look at. I also pop over to the post office to send some things and then I grab a few goodies from the grocery store to have myself a little picnic at the waterfront. I wanted to go to the bakery to get something to take away but it was so incredibly busy at 1pm on a weekday for some reason so instead I just went to the supermarket. I have to be a little bit careful of the seagulls down here because they were eyeing off my vegetable tart but I don't think the seagulls here are brave enough to actually come and take something out of my hands like I've seen seagulls do in other places. 
It's midwinter, but a really beautiful sunny day here in Tasmania, so it's nice to sit outside at the beach. Sunny winter days seem extra special because you don't always know when you'll get another one amongst the cold, windy and rainy days, so I'm glad I made the most out of this one. So part of the reason I wanted this smaller sketchbook was so that I could carry it around easily and do some drawing outside when I'm out and about. I'm not sure if I'll make it a proper travel journal, I think it'll be more casual than that, but I always really like the idea of having a sketchbook full of drawings from places I've been. Drawing seagulls seem like an obvious choice to start off this sketchbook since there are so many seagulls around today, and also they're so full of character so they're just kind of fun to sketch out. It's nice to just sit and sketch what I see around me, and it's nice to have a dedicated book for it. I've always been someone who takes my sketchbook and pencils on holiday thinking I'll spend lots of time drawing, but almost every time I end up not drawing a single thing. I'm not sure if that's just been from a lack of confidence in the past or because I didn't want to draw so casually in a nice sketchbook, but regardless I'm glad to be doing it now. I've definitely relaxed a lot with my expectations of my art, especially with casual sketches, and I think that's because I draw so often now that it doesn't matter if I draw something that doesn't look great because it doesn't diminish all of the other nice things that I've drawn. There's less pressure now on the one thing I draw today to be really good. It used to feel like because I don't draw that often, then if it isn't great, then it kind of feels disappointing and like I wasted my time. Which isn't true by the way, but sometimes it can feel that way if you have high expectations of yourself. Let us know in the comments if you're like me and always take a sketchbook on holiday but never actually draw in it, or maybe you've been able to successfully fill in a travel journal. I'd love to know. So I've had a nice long lunch and been able to draw a few things in my new sketchbook. Now I need to get some more work done and so I'll head back to the library. Before I sit down, I want to have a little browse at the books because I love what a treasure trove of stories and learning libraries are. They've always been a pretty big part of my life, but I think they're generally so underrated. You can read and borrow all of these books without buying them, and a lot of libraries also have audiobooks you can listen to for free online at home. I just think they're a really cool public resource, so I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate them. Anyway, I need to keep working on the task that I started this morning of this step-by-step -step guide for Patreon, so now that I have all of the steps drawn as pictures, I lay them out side by side in a template I already have from previous guides. These guides are usually quite simple to make, but definitely go a lot quicker if I'm focused because there are so many little parts that if I get distracted, then I start labeling things wrong and putting steps in the wrong places. So it's a good task to do at the library where I'm less distracted. Overall, I'd say these guides probably take me anywhere from six to eight hours to make by the time I draw out all of the individual steps, lay them out like this, type up the article, and then for this one, I also wanna do some color and pattern variations for the shells, so that'll take me a couple of hours later as well. I won't finish it today, but I can get most of it done in the four or five hours I'll end up spending in the library throughout the day. I enjoy making them though, and it's satisfying to see all of the steps come together. If you're curious, you can browse the previous ones that I've made on my website where I have all of my major Patreon benefits listed. I think being an illustrator and making content for platforms like Patreon and YouTube add a nice bit of variety to my work because I do quite a lot of illustrating, especially when I have a big project to do like a picture book. So making other content means that I also get to write articles and make videos and I'm someone who really likes variety so I enjoy that. It's getting late in the afternoon, so I'm gonna head home. It's been really nice to take my work with me on a little excursion, just to a different environment today. It's just refreshing to mix it up a bit and change up my routine. I picked up some bread and milk before I left town and stopped to watch the ducks at the park for a few minutes on my way back to my car and headed home. 
Working from home takes a lot of the stress and time of commuting out of my life, but getting out from time to time refreshes my perspective on things and also makes it extra beautiful to come home, especially when the cows and their babies are in the field next to our house during a beautiful sunset. I'm so lucky to have the life that I do and days like this make me appreciate what I have even more and I want to make sure that I don't take it for granted. So thanks for coming along with me today on this little day out. Let me know if you guys would like to see more vlogs like this and I'll make sure to take you along with me next time I go out and about with my work or my art. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.